Hi, Alexandra. Thank you so much for coming to Beastalk. How are you today? Hi, thank you so much for the invitation. I'm happy to be here today. Thank you so much for your time and coming and sharing your braveness because founders are brave and your idea with us. Please, before start talking about your venture, shall we give an introduction to yourself? Of course, I am always happy to present myself. I am uh, Alexandra Badea. I started to become entrepreneurs nine years ago. I started with an HR agency. And four years ago, I started to create She's Mom platform. My dream is to support people to achieve their passion and their dream. First of all, to discover, because sometimes it's a long journey to understand better yourself and to take the, the right decision for your career path. So I, I can tell you about myself that I am a happy wife. I am very enthusiastic. I have a lot of passion uh, outside uh, my business. I love dogs, cats, books, and travel. And I'm always very uh, eager to learn and open to learn. I, I think my strengths are uh, creativity and uh, this power to connect the right people with the right company or right people with the right mentors. And this is, the, this is my, uh, my style. So few words about me because I can talk too much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's go to business. Let's talk more about my business. So it is time for She's Mom Club. And we have a, a huge dream. Our dream is to simplify mom's life. And in order to do this, we start uh, four years ago, as I say, we come with an idea. And first step was to create a PowerPoint presentation and then to go to pitch. Of course, it was a, a challenge way, but uh, then we realized that we don't have to go to pitch to investors with a PowerPoint presentation. And then we start to create an interview focus group and start to create a platform. Well, we born, uh, she is mom, we start to born uh, this idea, especially starting with social media and uh, with pre-mentoring session, a lot of pre-mentoring session, especially in 2020. We start with the landing page, and in September 2020, we launched our first session of platform. Why we believe that She is Mom is the perfect platform for the moms and women? Because we consider that always a mom needs some motivation and support, especially after the first child. And we consider that we create a strong community with mentors and uh, entrepreneurs and companies, and they come and they can speak with very open-minded women. They can grow and uh, bring the self-confidence back because sometimes during maternity leave, self-confidence uh, become lower. Also, it's very good to organize clear mind and to find your career path, as I said earlier. And it's very important to learn every time. We believe that education is the key to succeed and to have always opportunity, especially now in this labor market when the things are changing so fast, to be flexible, to be educated, to learn new skills, it's, it's very important. So we believe in education, especially for moms who want to have the both, a career path and a family. This is a great opportunity to find solutions for uh, moms and women, especially because we are trying to build a very, very huge Amazon for services dedicated to moms and families. And we bring here a lot of things like therapy, coaching courses, English courses, Excel courses, telemedicine, and a lot of things for family also. It's so simple to create an uh, account in She's Mom and just to click, you already have an account. Our plan for mentors, it's very important to speak about mentors because our mentors are the community who give the services for the moms. So we have also a plan for the mentors. We have also the subscription model and our goal for them is to promote them to helping them to increase personal brand and get more clients. Product overview, we have four accounts at this moment. We have the account I am woman because we also target the woman who wants to become mom and they are not mom yet. They have a lot of question and requests about career and then how can manage the both things. We have a mentors account. We have benefits. In benefits, it's a new way to buy. We have a lot of services and products for family and we have huge discounts as women love to have. We also have companies because we realized that companies has a lot of women and month employees. And we also offered mentoring after maternity leave, 
a lot of leadership program for the women who are already employed in the company. We consider that we have a very social uh, impact, very strong social impact. And we also have a page for events. We do online events, but we do also offline events in order to uh, engage our uh, mentors, moms, companies, and to create a strong community always. Our target is to expand in Europe. We start in East Europe in Romania. Now I build a community in Portugal. And my dream is to create a bridge for US. So we want, we consider that Europe and US need more working moms. This is our traction. We start with our own clients and we put our own money in the business. We launch in 2020, but we start to earn money in 2021. It is not hard, especially in business to consumer. That was the reason that we bring business to business. That means company user in order to get more traction and to be uh, useful also our turnover. Our needs, we consider that at this moment, we are just three founders and we are trying to do a lot of things. But in order to grow, we need a lot of digital marketing. We need to hire a sales team and we need to create a social network. We realize that moms and women have this need to speak a lot about the problem, even if they need a coach or a mentor, just to be listened, just to have time to speak about different issues. So we think that for, uh, for the platform to create a social network can be an upgrade very, very good for our moms. Our business model, as I say earlier, we have business to consumer, and this is for moms. We have business to business because our mentors are freelancers or companies. We have business to business again in companies, and we also have a, a strong entrepreneurial ecosystem, especially for women and moms. We are trying to help them to open a company, to become freelancer, and to get the boat with enough time and enough money. We consider at the end of uh, my pitch that happy moms means happy families and means happy society. We know that we choose a very challenged mission, but it's also very beautiful. And we want to offer this dream for the moms to offer support and happiness and education. And just to click, all moms can make an account in She is Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alexander. Uh, let me ask you, uh, that's a platform made for moms, okay? But what is the need behind a mom to use your platform? Well, the needs is not only one, but I think the first one is to discover the new career path after maternity leave or to uh, find another way to get money because after maternity leave, the mom decided that it's pretty hard to go back at eight, eight hours or nine hours to a normal schedule at, uh, in an organization. So the real need is to have also a career. It's like, okay, I want to have a family, I want to have children, but I also want to have my own career path. So sometimes they have to choose between one of these. So this is the real need. And the second one is the self-confidence because they lost self-confidence during maternity leave sometimes, especially when it takes one year or two years, and it's pretty hard to come back. So they need more motivation. They need someone to listen to them and then to put them in a direction. So this is for both. The mom then is in her mind capable to go back, uh, strong enough to go back uh, where she was previously, let's say in a corporation, but they still need some mental support because maternity it is what it is, very tough. And many places, for example, in Europe, you are out of the of your job, of your uh, out of your company for months and months, even one year. Uh, on that side, for the one they decide to change. They don't want to go back. Actually, they want to move forward in something new. Now, uh, how does you help them on both sides on the changing career at the same time? strength your mental health it is a very good question and also this is the reason that my that she's mom platform is so complex <laughs> uh, we believe that we want to offer all the opportunity for the mom so sometimes we have a discussion with them the first interaction with she's mom and then we are trying to understand if they are ready to become a freelancer because to become a freelancer after maternity leave can be a good option 
but no one is prepared for uh, for this especially because sometimes they prefer safety especially to have a salary and when you are a freelancer you have no idea how much money you will have next month or uh, two months after and so on so we are trying to have a very long conversation with them to understand their needs their fears and then to make the right proposal for build something new sometimes we realize together that it's better to have a part-time job in a corporate because they have safety they have benefits also they need medical insurance for uh, them and the family and sometimes this is actually the the plan to understand better the need the desire and then to create an action plan an action plan can be sometimes we can touch the both things sometimes they prefer to have a part-time job and trying to also do some freelancing with handmade products but they want to have safety uh, financial safety first the first thing step is to discover their need the second is to create an action plan and the third is to have you know a real action plan and we need all their engagement it is a work that we make together so we need enough motivated mom to do this because it's not easy sometimes we need to helping them to have some new skills to make a professional reconversion and also this is very challenge to upgrade your skills it takes time sometimes it takes money if you want to make a professional reconversion in IT you have to pay for the courses and you have to learn a lot so we are trying to have all these opportunities and trying to see where is the right place for them that's that's great uh, and how do you define exactly what is good or bad for them i mean when it comes to mental strength your mental health in somehow there are common ways probably but something is good, is good for me in terms of job but it's not good for others how do you define this i mean how do you actually understand that uh, this person can do freelance which is very not for everyone because you don't know what's going to happen next month and or maybe for this person is better based on what is your assumption Yes. So uh, another very good question. My background, I uh, studied psychology and I have an interview uh, at the first site, but the second step normally I propose a personality test, especially because I want to measure these uh, skills, you know, if you have stress management low, you are not good for freelancing because it's pretty hard to manage the insecurity if you have money, not money and so on. if you have a very high stress management if you have a very high level of uh, leadership if you have a very high level of uh, result oriented yeah as you can do it it's maybe you know maybe you need to to help you and to support you for a while but you can have also i have in this personality profile i have a scale of entrepreneurship so there i can measure exactly how much are they have native abilities or not and i try also to see the best skills and then to connect with the right jobs or freelancing or entrepreneurship also team player is very important because being freelancer sometimes can be difficult to work alone and you should have a, you should be one man show always to do a lot of things alone and it's not all about money it's also how you feel it i know a lot of amazing women and moms who come at me and say i want to become an entrepreneur but not alone <laughs> find me an associate find me a co-founder so the first steps are this interview and then a personality test and normally i compose a package five or uh, four session not only with me only with another mentor to see exactly if they really want because sometimes they say i want to become an entrepreneur but then realize it's too complicated <laughs> it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of i don't know new task and new thing so i try to go deep and normally i see after two session or three i see that if they are ready to invest because when you take this option to become entrepreneur you should invest your time uh, educate more yourself and more and more also yeah it's not enough to decide it's enough to act actually to assume your responsibility to be your own boss So yes, this is the first steps. 
I mean, terms of business model, you're already generating revenues, which is for a young startups as you are, it's pretty remarkable. Now, how do you think you can manage your scale? Because in the end of the day, if you decide to go to venture capital, that's a different way to live your, let me, let me say, entrepreneurial life. You must keep in mind you need to perform, you need to scale. So how do you think you can scale outside your current market? Well, I have a very clear uh, goal at this moment. Uh, as I say also in my pitch, I need to hire more people because I have the plan already. I have the business plan updated in January this year and I have the business plan for next year and I need to hire more people. And also after hiring these people and especially marketing, I need influencers, I need ambassadors. I want to also to create a network of ambassadors because my business it's very, very emotional. So if I build a network with 100 ambassadors everywhere in Europe, it will be very easy to scale. The same in US, but first of all, I need to create a relationship with the people here in Portugal. And especially, I know that I am a platform, but uh, when you are in a new country and you are trying to build a new community, you should go to the live event to meet the uh, personal, the personal people to meet face to face. And it takes time. Then I want to go to US to do the same thing. I know that it's not possible to make it in six months. I can promise this to all investors. And especially I can tell them that in ad tech, the things are not happening so fast, like FinTech. I know this, but it's a lot of work. It's a different business and it's, always about changing mindset. When we speak about education, we speak about the futures and it takes time. Maybe I can reach my goal and to scale the business in four years or maybe in three or maybe in 10. I do my best. If I hire more people, for sure I can scale fast. But now with three person in my team, I think we already have the product done. We already have clients. We already have a strong community. We have 19 mentors at this moment, 90 mentors and 70 benefits and 19, uh, 20 companies. So we are trying to do our best. And yes, we work sometimes seven days. <laughs> it's not uh, good, but it's necessary sometimes. So we need to hire and to create an ambassador network to scale. What investors you're looking for? Do you have any investor person in your mind? I think my best investors uh, looks like this. First of all, understand and believe in tech. I had a lot of pitches and they was with different background and they say, it's very nice what you are doing, but I don't want to invest in tech. I don't understand exactly why it's now or something like this. So my first, my uh, investor looks like this, tech oriented. And the second is very important to be like a partner for us, you know, because I need more support. Okay, I need money also, but I need to work with someone who come near us and help us in some point to scale up, for example, or to improve something in our business, in our business model, for example. I don't have a person in my mind. If you ask me, of course, maybe I can uh, think to some celebrity, but I don't have a person in my mind. I no, when I... When I... Have, when I uh, say investor persona is the, the persona profile, profile yeah. exactly, which is you've been very clear. So you need someone who does give you only the money, who believes in, in education, in ed tech, uh, and in skills improvement, and also uh, give you some, some technical support, probably, and of course, money. Uh, now, because we don't have unlimited time, and I, I want to close with you. I, I do like asking to find this. What brings you here? Why? There's a huge difference, in my opinion, between founders, they start up and they onboard. What is an endeavor? What is a very challenging journey just because they want to make money? And the one they do this because they love what they're doing. So what brings you here to do this? Working seven days per week, probably 15 hours per day my answer is quite simple 
I have a dream. When I start to build cheese, mom, I realize that I can do more. I had an HR agency. I still have it. And my uh, area was recruitment. I met a lot of women who need support and help. And then I try to find something in East Europe to help them, but I don't find it. And then I realize I can do it. I am very ambitious. And when I have a dream, tomorrow I will start to create it and to put stone by stone, trying to build, as I say, my pink castle. For me, she's mom, it's a pink castle. So I start from scratch, nothing, just a PowerPoint presentation start with a lot of enthusiasm and enthusiasm is also one of my friends and with a lot of optimism sometimes it's hard I will be very honest in 2022 it was really really hard to stay in a business but you know maybe sometimes when it's very hard I realize that the people need my platform need my service need my energy so I come back tomorrow and I start my job again this is my my way of life actually it's not just a business it's a way of life so i do this with passion and i can resist also in a hardest time even if i don't like it but i'm here alexandra thank you so much for coming to this talk it's been a very very pleasure for me and i really wish you the best i hope in i hope i'm i'm sure in equity match we can help you to raise funds and again all the luck and success Thank you for the opportunity. It was a pleasure to speak with you today. My pleasure. Take care.